So we're going to get started here with some background on some hose types. Basically, the way a hose is made, uh, obviously different than tubing because it's multi-layered. Whenever we talk about tubing, it's one uh, layer of material, whether it's stainless steel tubing or PFA tubing. It's one layer of material where a hose has multiple layers. The core material is the material that obviously sees the media that's flowing through the hose. And then everything else is there for either protection or pressure containment. So things like braid, the reinforcement, and possibly covers. Um, in this particular picture, it's a silicone cover that we put on a hose so to possibly add abrasion resistance, but also make the hose outside more cleanable. And then we put end connections on, of course, different methods. So softer core materials like like PTFE, Teflon, uh, we can squeeze or crimp the hose end on and metal hoses, of course, we have to weld the hose end on. And these can, you know, change the way a hose performs. It's very key to understand every layer of the hose in order to apply the right hose to the right application. Some common uh, materials we list here. So the top one is a metal core. The actual core material is metal and it's convoluted so that the, the uh, actual core can bend. If it was just a straight core, like a piece of tube, thin tube, it obviously wouldn't bend and it would, it would break quickly. So we convolute the core and weld it to the end. It makes a very flexible metal hose. The fluoropolymer or PTFE core is, is the second one on the list here, and that's a crimped end connection that we put on. And the actual core material doesn't withstand much pressure, so we need to braid uh, this one and the metal hose to give it pressure containment. Thermoplastic hose um, is really designed for things like hydraulic uh, pressure impulses. It can withstand a lot of abuse and uh, withstand a lot of pressure spikes. And the last one on the list here is more of a down and dirty type hose. It's a rubber hose, um, relatively low cost and can withstand the most amount of abuse, but, but not really suited for higher technical applications. And this is key because if you apply the wrong hose to an application, the life of the hose will be dramatically impacted. And, and this is something that many people don't understand. The right hose and the right application can have 10, 20, or 100 fold uh, longer life. And so uh, each hose type has its strengths and weaknesses. As you see in this graph here, this, this is just intended to be a quick look. The metal core is good for temperature, pressure. It withstands or it limits permeation, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. But it's very poor in impulse, pressure spikes. Dynamic bend, it's like a paper clip. It will bend, it will break faster than the other types of hoses. And so each hose type has its strengths and weaknesses. And that, that comes at a at a consideration for the application. So it's always important to apply the right hose for the right application.